cannot sleep. I've been trying, but I cannot. Can't. So guess what I'm gonna do? Stay tuned. To something, but I am here. I am here, I'm here. Let's go get this cardio done. I did, I couldn't sleep. I said, you know what? Let me just get it out of the way. I know this might look kind of weird, but these are some exercise to help rotate the hips and loosen the hips up because you know my lower back and hip has been hurting. So that's why I'm doing different stretches on this morning to kind of loosen those areas up so that I don't have that much pain in them. I'm gonna come in the 30 minute workout room, this room, and I'm just gonna do arms because I didn't do them yesterday. So I'm gonna do my arms today on Tuesday. So I'm only doing all the arm, the arm um, machines and that's it. All right, so let's go. Here it is. I feel better, my knees and all that. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, just so you know, when I keep stopping to adjust the camera, that is because I want to make sure you guys are getting a good view of me seeing my body, seeing my size, and seeing me push, push, push. That way I can inspire other people because I know there's a lot of women who are my size, maybe smaller, maybe bigger. But guys, I want you to get a view of me doing this. If I can do it, I'm no special than you are. You can do it too, guys. Let's push. Let's push. You know, sometimes a tripod irritates me because it leans, it falls and stuff. But I want to make sure I can get a good view because I want you guys to see me in this size. That way I can come back and see the transformation. You guys can see me pushing during a time where I'm not happy with myself, but I'm pushing to do something about it. I'm ready to do the treadmill for 10 minutes and then massaging out of here. It's just now 3.15. My alarm went off to wake me up, but I'm already here. Y'all see that treadmill go up? Yes, your girl did it today. I took it up to a six incline and I was at a 3.5 speed. I'm trying to do more incline because with that, it builds more muscle because it's like you're walking up a hill. And so it's like I'm pulling my weight up versus a flat walking. So that's just something just to give you a tip if you do ever decide to get on a treadmill. It's more of like a sort of like endurance and strength, tra strength training when you do an incline on these um, treadmills or if you do like the stair stepper, things like that. It's like building more muscle. This is my burn, 56 minutes, 388. Let's go get that massage. So while in the bathroom, I decided to take some pictures that will be my befores. And because I don't like it, the way my body, physical body looks, I'm pushing to change it so that these will be before sooner than later. Leaving and going home at the time that I would be getting here, actually earlier, because I used to get here about 4, 15, 20-ish. So yeah. On my way home, take a shower and, and go to bed. My day for, well, fight like my day is, my next day is already started, right? <laughs> All right, y'all, see you in a little bit. Just some of the snacks I had today, Slim Jims and my sour cream snap, whatever you call it, and peanut butter on a rice cake and some peanuts. And now let's go to dinner. I'm getting ready to make a quick um chicken pot pie. I'll cut up. Well, my husband cut the chicken up for me. And I got cream of mushroom, cream of chicken. This is for my biscuits that I'm going to put on top. So I'm getting ready to put some olive oil in here. 
saute this chicken and then make the mix. Very simple. I love this grinder from um, Sam's. This is really cool. Because you don't use a lot of your salt. It's really cool. Put some garlic. I'm making a pan that size. Cut it to you. It smells so good. This is super simple, guys. All I did was mix um, three. I'm going to do three and I keep that one for something else. I put um, uh, two cream of mushrooms, one chicken. This is an easy way to make chicken pot pie, semi homemade. And then I put about um, a quarter cup of creamer. I put a little bit of um, Himalayan salt just for taste and some pepper. That's it. My chicken is done, so I'm going to drain that mix that in here and then it is going into this pan and once hubby come back because i'm out of, out of um self-rising flour i'm going to make the biscuit stuff to put on top of this and that is it nice simple semi-homemade okay i love semi-homemade when i ain't in the mood to really cook but i want to give them a good meal so yes mix it in and put it in the pan see how creamy that is Oh my gosh, y'all. It is the bomb. Quick and simple. Let me put it in the pan. And then just spread it. Have a nice thick layer to put your biscuit on. Yep. Some of the meat in one spot. This is so creamy. I love a creamy based on um, Popeye. I don't like like just a regular broth base. I like a creamy based Popeye. So today is the 16th. That was Popeye. Tomorrow we're going to have steak with something. I don't know what. The next day is going to be beef stew. So yep, that was that is what was on the menu for tonight. And that's what we have for the next two days. I don't know what I was doing. I was just cutting squares. <laughs> then just trying to hide the little middle piece. And right there. And I got this left. Dinner is served. So freaking tasty, guys. So tasty. So, so I just got done doing a live. And ladies, if you were on that live last night, let's just say my baby is on the way. The last one we talked about, it's on the way. Yes, I can't wait to try it. So, um, if you get it, let me know, email me or something, talk to your sis, cause I want, I want to, I want to know your review on it. Okay. So I'm excited about that. Um, that's just a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. I just call my hubby up like, babe, what you doing? <laughs> I need you to come upstairs. So look, today I didn't put everything in the video, but I ate a lot of mess. I, I, I. I ate a lot of stuff that I shouldn't have eaten. Not shouldn't have. I feel like I, I be feeling like I went overboard some days. And you know, Tom is doing, it's during that time where Tom is here and he's kind of on his way out type of situation. But them cravings still be kind of like, uh. excuse me, ladies. Okay. So let me just say, cause I didn't put it on the video. So y'all see, I had the Popeye. Popeye was tasty. And when I tell you I'm logging every day from, I started on the 30th of March logging my food. So look, every day I've been putting, oops, could y'all see? I've been putting my food in every day. Seriously, I'm not playing. So we on the 16th. So what I didn't put in the video, oh, the only thing I didn't put in the video is tea and I ate two turkey wings. Then... Um, I drank a Capri Sun from Audi's, a wild cherry, and I drank a ginger ale. So I got to put that on here. And then I had my Popeye. So for today, I had 
the rice cake with peanut butter, some peanuts, a Slim Jim, some cheeses, two popsicles, two turkey wings, some tea, some mango tea, some a Capri Sun, um, Capri Sun, ginger ale, and you know what, guys? I told my husband because y'all know I'm frugal. I told my husband to try to get the Aldi ginger ale, ginger ales again. Um, because we was getting Canada Dry, which is like almost six dollars a box, and all these is like two forty something, so it was really irritating me. So ginger ale, and then Popeye, chicken Popeye. Um, so he got it, and he was saying that he think that it was it might have been a bad batch because it didn't taste that sweet. Um, it really didn't taste that sweet. And he, they, they were thinking it was sweet too. Remember when I was like, maybe it's my taste buds, but no, it didn't taste, um, as sweet as it did that time. And they tasted it too. So it wasn't just, it wasn't about my taste buds or anything. It was like a bad batch or a batch that they may have put a little bit more sweetener in or whatever it is they do to sweeten it. Because when I taste this ginger ale, it wasn't bad. And I was like, thank God. Cause I love my ginger ale. I would rather drink that if I want some form of like that caffeine, you know, spark, um, you know, you want to feel it go down. So yeah, so that's what I had today. So I, sometimes I'd be feeling like I'm overdoing it, but I really didn't do bad. So my rice cake with peanut butter, peanut Slim Jim, Cheez-Its, the little bag of Cheez-Its, two popsicles, two turkey wings, some tea, a Capri Sun, ginger ale, and pot pie. I think I've been drinking a lot of stuff. Um, and I did get a new cup. So this is my new cup. I don't know how long I'm going to keep it. They did away in my area with the Ozark cups that keep stuff hot and cold. So this is what I got now. Um, babe, so why somebody came on my live and told me about another toy I had to have. So I ordered it. It'll be here in two days. I was too excited about it. Did you, did this drop out? Because I was showing them this and talking about this, but I didn't see that it was one in there. You used, we used it? Oh, okay. So, um, yeah. So, that was my day. I'm getting ready to get off of here. Um, yeah. That's it. Wasn't nothing major going on today. Um, I'm going to hit it again tonight. Hopefully, I can get in the bed so I can get up in the morning. Or I'll probably be doing what I did today. I'll be doing that tomorrow. Like going early, early. I actually like going early, but it was a little bit more people in there, which was surprising. It was a couple more people in there. Yeah, that was surprising to me. So, all right, y'all. I'm going to talk your ears off, and I'm trying to shorten them, make them shorter. And let's see who really watches them, even though they're shorter. I, I just can't please everybody. I can't. I be trying. It's like, no, I don't. But I do want to make them shorter because I just think it's easier to... For people to try to get it in real quick if they want to watch it on a lunch break or something like that just as motivation for themselves to push throughout that day or whatever so all right y'all i'll talk to you guys in the next video later gators